Good morning and a heartfelt welcome this morning to our Sunday morning service live here on Facebook, 8 o'clock. And today I am, uh, <laughs> you are in the company of Sandy, <laughs> myself. I'll be ministering in English <laughs> and my wife will be ministering in Afrikaans and she is. Karen, good morning. Bye, welcome here to the community. Our is up here on Facebook for us. Um, that the deal can be of this Sunday, same sign. Wow, that's not amazing. Ons wil het nie eers dienste noem nie, dis net so lekker by mekaar kom om die naam van die Heere groot te maak en deel te hee in die woord van die Heere, om ons Amen. los te maak, vry te maak, om ons harte net te verlos in die Heere. Wat een blijdschap en wat een heerlijkheid Amen. is dit volgend om hier te wees. Wees asjeblief deel daarvan en wanneer ons ons um, link ook share, sê dit ook daar op jou status goeie um, dat allemaal het ook kan sien, amper sê weer goeiemorgen. <laughs> Good morning, welcome this morning to all our brothers and sisters in Christ, to the known and the unknown friends, family, anyone that are tuned in this morning, okay. if you're the first time that you've ever tuned in our services, with this morning we have a bilingual service, it's in English, I will be ministering English, and my wife will be ministering in Afrikaans, if you're not from South Africa, this is two of our official languages, Afrikaans and English. Our home language is English, so pardon me if I'm uh, I'm struggling to speak English at times, so please pardon me with that, but I ask help. I don't care, I ask help yes. so that I can minister to a wider range of audience um, through the English as well, because we do have English uh, brothers and sisters yes. and those that want to partake in our services, and therefore we've decided to do some of our services bilingually, in English and in Afrikaans. Oh. So everything my wife is saying, I'm <laughs> saying as well. So if you don't understand Afrikaans at all, just bear and I'll come again with the English. Yes. Praise the name of the Lord. Goeiemorgen allemaal. And this morning we're going to have Holy Communion or a Lord's Supper as some might uh, refer to it. So um, if you want to partake of it, get uh, grape juice and bread ready yes. and then you can partake with us. If you don't have it live yet and you still want to do it, pause the video, go and get some bread and grape juice, come back and follow with us in the Holy Communion. Yeah, Praise so the name of the Lord. Ja, so ons ook hou. So kry jou broekie en jou druivensap gereed, so dat ons ook saam met mekaar oor die licht kan nachtmaal hou. Praise die Heere. Also, goeiemorgen allemaal. Deal the Boeska, please share the message there to your Facebook timeline. Praise yes. the name of the Lord. Spread the gospel in this way as well. Yes. If you've got WhatsApp, go and share the link to your WhatsApp status. If you are on our WhatsApp group, it's easy. Just go forward the link that is already on the group. As if you want to forward to someone else and then you get an option status and you just share it to your status and WhatsApp does everything for you. Yes. The rest. So praise the Lord, and we also shared our message afterwards on YouTube. We've got a YouTube channel with the same name. Now in Afrikaans is the online Kerk, translated as the online church. And now we are based in South Africa, Langerbaan, uh, um, South, uh, Western Cape. But praise the name of the Lord, the whole of South Africa yes. is our church, <laughs> church ground. <Yes. laughs> if we can put it like that. Because um, we, uh, if the Lord willing, Tuesday, this coming Tuesday, 31st, we're going to go for a road trip again to Gauteng. We have people that came to the Lord there that needs to be baptized. We're going to baptize them as well. That was the initiation of this trip as well. And in the process, we're going to meet new people and also visit our congregation that are already with us so many years so praise the name of the Lord. Ons gaan een rood trip hee, ons gaan een gemeente besoek doen <laughs> en nieuwe siele ontmoet uitreik hee. Nou, wat gebeur hee, daar is mense wat op die kering gekom hee, daar in Alberton omgeving um, en hulle het gevra dat ons sal deerkom om hulle wel te doop en swaan. Ons het al met hulle lekker telefonies gepraat, gesels en sovoorts, maar nou ja, ons gaan vir die eerste keer face to face ontmoet, so prijs die Heere daarvoor, en ja. dit het nou die hele trip aan die gang gesit, die hele uh, uitreik in die gang gesit, 
So, ons gaan nieuwe mense ontmoet, as heel wat nieuwe mense yes, wat ons gaan ontmoet, en ons prijs die Heere. Ons gaan nieuwe huisies in. Nieuwe huisies, nieuwe huisies, oorslaak ook, loof die Heere. Amen. En dan gaan ons ook ons bestaande broeders en sisters, wat ons al soveel jare ken, ook net lekker gesels en keier en, yes. ach, net so'n bykie gesels, net om, maar een keer is al bykie vraag en dinge, wat jy maar net so one to one bykie kan ja, uitsorteer, of kwesties, of ach, en net lekker ja. sekerheid samen zijn, yes. en dan kan ons weer lekker aangaan, prijs die heren. Ja, as ons so by mekaar kom, dan voel ons so weer, ek het weer kach om aan te gaan, dit yes. is nie so nie my man, baie keer voel jy, ek kan nie meer alleen in die pad stap nie, en as ons mekaar so gezegje sien, dan voel ons so my weer, ons kan aangaan, en die heren loof die. Ja, yeah, so if the Lord willing, I see Connect is tuned in, Linda is tuned in, uh, if the Lord willing, next week we are at their place, ah. at the Fall Dam, there in Oranjeville, and then if the Lord willing, it will be a baptism service next Sunday that we're going to baptize people there as well. And pray for us that more people in the process, before the baptism Amen. service, can come to the Lord, give their life to the Lord, become yes. born again, and then we're going to baptize even more people. Praise the Lord. This is always our opgewonenheid, is that the Lord must be redeemed, that the heart of the Lord must give. Wow, praise the Lord. What is more wonderful than this? What is a greater wonder work in someone's life as this? When he is the king of the darkness, he is called out in die koninkryk van licht gebore word, in die Godse koninkryk in, hy ontvang die geest van die Heere, daar is lewe, daar is kracht, daar is verlossing, daar is redding, daar is al hierdie wonderlijke dinge, en daar is eeuwige lewe, wat so'n persoon kan ingaan, dis ons opgewonenheid in die Heere, en dit laat ons elke dag nog een dag aangaan, en nog een dag aangaan, en sê Heere, alles is die moeite waard, gister praat ek en my man so, en ons sê, jo, dit is nogal, op hierdie ouderdom begin het nogal story raak, raak een uitdaging, ja, dit raak een uitdaging, en, maar ons is opgewonde, want dan denk ons, wat is dit tegen die eeuwigheid? Dit is niks. Ons is so al kort tyd op die aarde. Ons moet doen wat ons kan doen. Ons moet insit wat ons kan insit, loof die Heere. So bid ek baie vir ons, ons het het baie nodig, dat die Heere krachtig vir ons deurbreek, voorsien in alles wat ons nodig het, wat ons moet uitsorteer en so aan. So ons het rechtig baie gebede nodig. So gaan saam met ons in die saak, en man haak net soms so lekker en sê, Heere, ek is deel van die trip en deel van die siele, wat gereed gaan word, loof die Heere. Ja, it's so amazing, and we found this often in our ministry as well. You minister the gospel to somebody, maybe at work, or with with friends, and eventually, those people come to the Lord, and it circles out, it's yeah, like a amen. pebble, you throw the pebble in the pond, and it just circles out, and uh, uh, Paula came to, to this ministry, and she gave and a life, to, yeah, and more or less a year ago, and she, when she gave her life to the Lord, and saw things out, uh, a colleague, Lindy, she came to the Lord, etc., and now, uh, her two, She's the aunt of the Ja, sy is die tanie van Kwanet en van Zandi, wat nou ook gedoop en alles gaan word so. Daar is nou hoeveel siele in hierdie saak wat my Paula begin het. So wow, dit is het opgewon en ek onthou laas jaar, ons was in Mossel baie gewees, het Paula my gekontak en gesê, sy het gehoor van die bybelskool en sy wil het graag doen, en so het die Heere al blij trak en uitgesorteer, ach, en Paula is al so opgewonne, los en vry in die Heere, so ja, dit is wat die Heere kan doen, dit is wat die Heere in ons gemeente doen, so we moet nie terughou nie, deel die boodskap, deel dit met ander mense, sit dit op jou, dit is seker die grootste effectieve saak is, wanneer jy dit op jou WhatsApp groep, ach, op jou WhatsApp, sy status sit. Wow, ek en vir jy sê, daar kom geweldig mense baie keer op dit af, en so kontak hulle, en ook op Facebook. Baie mense kontak ons van Facebook af, so loof die Heere, die gemeente word groot, dit word alle groter en groter en groter, en sê ja, ons loof die Heere vir dit wat hy doen, prijs die Heere. Yes, amen, and this morning, as we said, we're gonna have communion, ons gaan nachtmal he, so if you have your bread and grape juice ready, after the uh, opening prayer, we first going to have communion. It's just a logistical uh, thing that we have just for everybody to partake in the communion uh, due to data, etc., etc. And then afterwards, we will continue with the ministry of yes. that we have this morning. So, as gaan eerste nachtmal hou, so dat allemaal kan deel wees, wat ook nie baie data het nie, so dat jy ook kan deel wees van die nachtmal. Daak is jy data bykie min om die hele dienst deur te gaan. 
So, ons gaan dit eerst doen, prijs die heren. Yeah. En Rohaida, hulle kom naar ons keier. Wow, yes, yes, prijs die heren. Yes. Rohaida en Terens en Klein Mia en Klein Terens. Kom naar ons keier, kyk en Marizel het ons self daar in. So, Bye, sy gaan man. ook saam kom hier <laughs> en keier vandag saam met ons. So, ons loof die heren, bid ek lekker vir ons vandag, dat die heren ook krachtig vir hulle deurbreek, loof die heren. Hulle is baie opgewonde vir Rohaida, sê gister, dit het al gister gevoel of het vandag moet wees. Yes. <laughs> so, ons is opgewonde om vandag saam met hulle te Ja, sy is vir die trip het officially begin. Amen. Our preach has already started, so the rest of South Africa, the, the, the Mosel Bayers and Bouwvoort Wessers and Lutzwillers and so on, don't cry too hard, please. Let's say, alles is simpel weer. Praise the Lord. Okay, let's open with prayer and then we're going to have Holy Communion and continue with the service from yes. there onwards. Praise the Lord. Heavenly Father, I thank you that we can come to you again today through your Son, Jesus Christ, Amen. who is our mediator and redeemer. Father, that you've set him so that you can redeem our souls from the clutches of the devil, Amen. from darkness. And I thank you, Father, that you've given us such a great gift. You've given your Son, you've given everything. You send him to this earth. Father, this uh, filthy earth, this earth of darkness and full of sin. And he came in this world and he never sinned. He never, uh, he never gave heed to sin. He never submitted under sin and the worldly lust and the fleshly things, Father. And therefore, he could have overcome the works of the devil. The day when he died on the cross, he could have overcome. He could have said, it is finished. And he, Father, and we thank you that he overcame thank you jesus that you were obedient that you never gave heed to oh, this world yeah. and because of that lord jesus you you still today in your name souls can be saved in your name souls can be taken out oh, of the kingdom man. of darkness and placed it. into the kingdom of light and we thank you father we thank you lord jesus hallelujah we just want to worship you this morning that we can be delivered and we don't want to keep it to ourselves we know father the gospel is a public thing and this is also uh, uh, where paul also once uh, spoke spoken before the king and he said king you know about this in school it, it didn't happen in secret and Afrikaans said on in a hook no it was open oh, father man. hallelujah jesus crucifixion his persecution his ministry was public it was open his life was open the other day when i read again that paul said not just only we ministered the gospel what we ministered our own lives we wow. gave our own life we will we were and amongst you we were in your houses we were in your places where you lived and worked and and suffered for the kingdom of god hallelujah we were there we weren't just there to preach yes. the gospel and go home and leave it to yourselves no we were there hallelujah Praise and we thank Thank you, Father, once again for the privilege that my wife and myself has oh, in this man. morning Praise that we can go and visit people in their homes, in their houses, in their circumstances where they oh, are. Yeah, what an so amazing Father. privilege oh, it God is, Father. Yeah, no. And we ask yeah. you in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, and we agree with every prayer, Father, that goes up before you, oh, that you will man. give us Praise the insight yeah, and wisdom uh, and that your Spirit will just work in every heart uh, because our words and our action cannot con contribute to anything that your spirit can do yes, but we are. can be there oh, father man. and we can be witnesses uh, of the power and the glory of God in Jesus yes, Christ uh, yes. hallelujah of course there is a resurrection power that has been poured out in this yes. world, uh, that has been given to this world, and all those that accept it, uh, they become alive and they will be resurrected wow. one day uh, with the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ, uh, and they will go uh, with Him uh, uh, to His kingdom, to His dwelling. Lord Jesus, You said uh, You're going to come back and You're going to take us uh, where You reside, where wow. You live, Praise where You yeah. are. Uh, oh, you're not coming yeah. back to this earth to come and stay with us, no. 
You are now in our hearts, but you want to deliver us uh, uh, from this sinful world. Uh, and I thank you, Father, in Jesus' name. Uh, we have something, we have a longing in our heart uh, uh, to be with you, Lord Jesus, but to be with you, uh, Father, and with all the angelic beings and brothers and sisters uh, that were obedient to the gospel that was saved. Uh, wow. Hallelujah. We have a desire, we have a longing uh, to be there, Father, and I thank you, Jesus. Uh, you gave us the in uh, assurance uh, that you're going to come and take us uh, where you are, where there is no sin, where there is no pain, uh, where there is no suffering, uh, uh, where there is no deception of the devil, uh, but you're going to remove us uh, and you're going to destroy the works of darkness once and for all uh, in all eternity uh, so that we can worship you in the spirit and truth uh, and have, hallelujah, eternal life uh, in us. Uh, and I thank you, Father, that we have the privilege, privilege to speak to you, Father. We have the uh, privilege to honor you, Father, and to honor you, Jesus Christ. Uh, hallelujah, that came and saved our souls from the kingdom of yes. darkness. Uh, and we just want to worship you this morning in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father, that we can be here. Vader, ons wil ook volgen bij dat hij met elk een zal delen en praten. Heer, die boodschap zoals wat hij en mij en mijn man zijn harte gepraat en gedeeld heeft. Heer, het ons ook om losmaak, het ons ook om vrijmaak, Heer. En elke keer als die woord so met ons praat, dan besef ons, Heer, dit is hoe krachtig die woord is. Want die woord, Heer, kom bevrij ons, Vader. Als ons dit kan aannemen en nie daad jy in redeneer en dit thee staan in ons hart en nie net aannemen, Heer, en sê, Vader, ek wil eerder verneder. En ek wil voor die aangezicht kom Amen. en ek wil my saak om uitsorteer. Dan breek die blijdschap en heerlijkheid en opgewonenheid en verlossing. En alles so dier ons harte. Baie, baie dankie daarvoor. Ek wil ook bid dat die my en my man volgend wijsheid gee. En sy gee ook met die woord, Vader. Jy weet, ons harte is elke keer benauwd. Wanneer ons hier kom sit, Heere, wanneer ons die woord moet bedien, Amen. om dit syver te bedien, Heere, om dit, Vader, in die kracht en in die heerlijkheid van jy te bedien, soos wat jy dit sou gedoen het, Vader, baie, baie dankie daarvoor. Ons wil jy loof en prijs, want het is jy rein woord, het is jy kostbare woord, Heere, het is gelouter, het is gesyver, sewe maal, Heere, yes, my God, <coughs> Alleluia. Heere, en ons dankie, en ons loof jy, dat jy net volgend vir ons help en deerdra, Baie, baie dank in Jesus' naam. Amen. Amen. Praise, Praise the name <laughs> of the Lord. Hallelujah. How glorious is His name. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise, Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Yes, we're first going to partake of the Holy Communion, the Lord's Supper, as some might know, know it. And praise the name of communion. So if you've got grab juice, you've got bread, that will symbolize the body of Jesus Christ. It's just ah, a symbolism. And also the blood is just a symbolism of the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. And that's Bramele work. Bramele, we gaan hulle ook ontmoet. We gaan ook samen met hulle keier daar so uit Rustenburg uit. Wow, ons is opgewoon om vir hom en Ronel ook te ontmoet. Loof die Heere. Yes, hallelujah. Wow, ons gaan baie nieuwe mensies, baie nieuwe huise, baie nieuwe plekke. Prijs die Heere. Ach, ek is opgewoon. Loof die Heere. Ok, so we first gonna read when it comes to the Holy Communion. We're first going to read a scripture in Matthew 26. This is the actual uh, time, the time that Jesus Christ were at this meal with his disciples. And he, 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 <laughs> he taught what was the purpose of the communion and what we need to co uh, commemorate. And um, it's a sacrament. Now, a yeah. sacrament me doesn't mean the outward thing has spiritual power. It's the conviction in your heart that are portrayed by the outward manifestation. Yes, so Jesus het ons kom leer waar we die nachtmal gaan, so dit is a sacrament wat ons moet nakom. En dit is nie a uiterlijke daad wat kracht het nie, dit is die innerlijke van ons wat al reeds oortuig is van hierdie yes. saak en dan gebruik ons die nachtmal as een uiterlijke saak om het te bevestig yes. van dit wat al reeds in ons hart is, dit wat ons verstaan van die nachtmal dat ons kan weet, ons verkondig die dood van die Heere Jesus Christus loof die Heere. Yes, because while we are take, partake of the outward instead of saying everything was with words, uh, our manifestation says it all. 
Ja, so die daad wat ons dan doen, sê alles in plaas van om alles in woorde oor te dra, is dit wat ons hier gebruik, sê alles wat ons glo in ons harte. Yes, ok, so let us read Matthew 26 and we gonna read from verses 26 till 28. And as they were eating, Jesus took bread, blessed and broke it, broke it and gave it to the disciples and said, Take it, this is my body. So he took the bread and they say, This is my body. So it's just <coughs> a symbolism of the body of Jesus Christ. Yes. Then he took the cup and gave thanks and gave it to them saying, Drink from it, all of you. For this is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for many for the remissions of sin. Now, it's very important to understand. First of all, it's the new covenant. It's not the old covenant, because even in Jeremiah 31, God says there will be a new covenant. Not like the covenant of old, a new covenant. And the purpose of the blood of Jesus Christ is for the remission of sins. And that is the only purpose of the blood of Jesus Christ, nothing else. Yes, praise the Lord. So we see here in Matthäus 26, verse 26 to and with 28, and terwijl hulle eet, neem Jesus die brood, en nadat hy gedank het, breek hy dit, en geer het aan sy disciples en sê, neem eet, dit is my lichaam, so, hy, dit is een symboliek van Jesus Christus' lichaam, die brood wat ons eet. Toen neem hy die beker, en nadat hy gedank het, geer het aan hulle en sê, drink amal daar uit, want dit is my bloed, die bloed van die Nieuwe Testament, wat vir baie uitgestort word, tot vergifnis van sonde. So dis die Nieuwe Testament, Jesus Christus, die gestarf en opgestaan het, te begin die Nieuwe Testament. So dis die vergifnis van sonde, ons kan een vergifnis kry van sonde, omdat die Heer Jesus Christus gestarf het, en opgestaan het uit die dode, nou is die Nieuwe Testament nie meer, soos die Oud Testament, waaran nie vergifnis van sonde was nie. I mean, now, um, while there, we're going to go to the um, 1 Corinthians and we're going to go over to the physical e uh, uh, use. use. <laughs> oh, thank you. Yes. Use of the um, communion. Um, so, but first, we're going to read in 1 Corinthians 10. Actually, I don't know if you don't know how much you want to read it. Ons gaan oorgaan aan die gebruik van die nachtmal. So ons gaan 1 Korintiërs 10 van die vers 1 vir julle lees. Nee, 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 van die vers 1 af nie. Ek sê so bezig om jou goed te vertaal, dat ek my goed vergeet. Van die vers 15 gaan ons vir julle lees en dit gaan die gebruik van die nachtmal. Ons gaan oorgaan aan die gebruik toe. Yes, first of all, we just want to read here in 1 Korintiërs 10 versus 15. What happens if you partake? of the communion, you take the bread and you take the grape juice, symbolically what happens there, what, do, what does it symbolize, because it's a remission of sin, it's the blood of Jesus Christ and it's also the um, body of Jesus Christ, now from verses f uh, um, 15 it says, I speak to wise men, judge for yourself what I say, the cup of blessing which we bless is, is it not the communion of the blood of Christ? The bread which we break, is it not a communion of the body of Christ? Mm. For we, though many, are one bread and one body, for we are all partake of the one bread. And the fact yeah. that we, this is, we partake of the one, the one bread and the one blood, Jesus Christ. Now what he says there, if we take it, if you take it, if I take it, through Jesus Christ, we become one wow. in the body because it's only one bread, one blood. And if you partake and if I partake through Christ, wow. we are part of this one body, although we are many members. Wow, that's mooi. 1 Corinthians 10 verse 15. Ek spreek soos met verstandige mense. Oor jy sel wat ek sê. Die beker van danksegging wat ons met danksegging sien, is dit nie die gemeenskap met die bloed van Christus nie? Die brood wat ons breek, is dit die gemeenskap met die lichaam van Christus nie? Omdat dit een brood is, is ons allemaal een lichaam, want ons het allemaal deel aan die een brood. So, um, maak die saak waar jy volgend is in hierdie lichaam, en jy gebruik saam met ons nachtmal, dan eet ons allemaal van die een brood, en dit maak ons een in die Heere Jesus Christus. Yes. Ons allemaal het deel daaraan, aan die een brood, en dit is die Heere Jesus Christus wat gesterf het, en vir ons sondes 
sê dat ons vergifnis kon kry van ons zonde. Is dit nie amazing nie? Sê, dit maak ons allemaal een vir oogend. Wow. Ja, yeah, and it says we have communion with him. In other words, there is a intimate relationship. So ons het gemeenskap. Yes, dit is een intieme verhouding. Yes, yes I mean. Ons het deel. But first of all, just to reiterate it, it must be in your heart. You must believe and live it in your heart. This is just a once in a while outward manifestation yeah. of what is really happening every day in your life. Ja, so dit met reeds in jou hart wees, jy moet dit so in jou hart verstaan, en wanneer ons, um, dit was wat die woord sê, so dikwels as jylle dit gebruik, so, soos wanneer jylle by mekaar kan kom en dit kan gebruik, maar dit is klaar deel in jou hart, dit is wat jy lewe, dit is wat jy verstaan van die evangelie, dit is wat jy verkondig van die evangelie, dat Jesus Christus gesterf het, opgestaan het in die dood, hy het sy bloed gestort vir ons sonde, vir vergifnis, so dat ons verlos en vry kan kom, en so dat ons hom nou kan aanneem. So dit bedeel is van jou leven, van jou hart, van jou binneste, jy moet die evangelie so verstaan, en dan wanneer ons dit gebruik, dan kan ons dit ook uh, manifesteer, soos wat ons dit in ons harte gloe. Yes, because first of all, the, the, the main thing is, and this is sometimes the confusion, uh, people think they must use the physical communion every day yeah. or three times a day or as many as uh, to to be part and to have communion of to, with Christ. But in your heart, if you accept the Lord Jesus yes. Christ, you follow His word, you eat His word every oh, day. Man. How do you eat His word? You read it, you accept it, you ponder on it and you start living it and you give your life. And That's when you it. sin, you, you confess your sin, the blood of Jesus Christ comes and cleanses your sin. And so on a daily basis, without the physical communion, on a daily basis, yeah. you have communion with the body of Christ and also with the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. Wow, this is what my man said, but I full on, so with every day, nachtmal, to be a part of van die Heere Jesus Christus, maar wanneer dit deel is van jou hart, en jy verstaan, ek het vergifnis, maar ek moet gaan belei, ek moet my leven gaan uitsorteer, dis deel van jou hart, dis iets wat jy verstaan in die evangelie, dan bly jy deel van die lichaam van Christus, want dis wat die lichaam van Christus verstaan, en dit is wat hulle doen, hulle bly deel van hierdie een brood, yes. en dan wanneer ons dan die nachtmal gebruik, dan is dit een uiterlijke daad, wat ons net weer um, verkondig, dat ons yes. dit wel gloe, en dat ons dit wel so in ons yes. hart te koester en uitsorteer en so dagelijks daar volgens lewe. Maar jy hoef nie elke dag nachtmal te gebruik om deel te wees van die Heere Jesus Christus nie. Dit moet een hartzaak wees. Yes. Dit is iets wat jy in die evangelie moet verstaan en kan uitleef. Loor, ja, want as jy die woord hoor, aanvaar, gloe, uitleef, het jy deel aan die brood. Amen. Want die woord is die brood. Prijs die Heere. Dier die bloed van Jesus, dier die lewe van Jesus, skuldvergifnis was jou skoon. Dis wat hy sê, die nieuwe testament in my bloed tot vergifnis van sondes, dan het jy op een dagelikse basis gemeenskap aan die brood, die, die lichaam van Christus en die bloed. Prijs die Heere. Yes, amen. Dank so, my man. So, so, okay, so let us continue with the use, the physical use of the uh, uh, um, communion and now I think we can understand why it's called the communion or holy communion because we have communion with the body and blood of Jesus Christ. Yes. So let us read from, uh, let's just get a scripture here on the screen for you in Afrikaans. We're going to read 1 Corinthians 11 verses 23 till 26. 1 Corinthians 11 23 to 26. For I received from the Lord that which I also delivered to you, that the Lord Jesus on the same night in which he was betrayed took bread. And yet we can see Paul wrote exactly what Jesus did in Matthew 26. And, he, and when, he gave, uh, when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, Take it, this is my body, which is broken for you. Do it in, my, in remembrance of me. In the same manner, he also took the cup after supper, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. For as often as you eat this bread and drink this cup, you proclaim the Lord's death till he comes. And let us just read um, uh, uh, verse 27 as well. Sorry. Oh, no, just till there, and let us read in Afrikaans. Het sê 1 Korintiërs 11 vers 23 tot 26. 
Want ek het van die Heere ontvang, wat ek ook aan julle oorgelever het, dat die Heere Jesus in die nacht, waarin hy vir hy is brood geneem het, en nadat hy gedank het, het hy het gebrek en gesê, neem, eet, dit is my lichaam wat vir julle gebrek word, doen dit tot my gedachten is. Net so ook die beker na die eet en met die woorde, hierdie beker is die Nieuwe Testament in my bloed, doen dit so dikwels as julle daaruit drink tot my gedachten is, want so dikwels as julle hierdie brood eet en hierdie beker drink, verkondig jylle die, die dood van, van die Heere, totdat hy kom, prijs die Heere. Amen, prijs die Heere. And, and through the death of Jesus Christ, there came forgiveness of sin, and also Jesus didn't stay dead, he rose from Amen. the dead, and this is what in all, all other places we read in the Bible, that through the resurrection of Jesus Christ, we can receive the spiritual rebirth, we can become born again. <coughs> Ja, so prijs die Heere, ons bly die dood van Jesus verkondig, omdat ons daar weer vergifnis gekry het, maar hy het nie die dood geblei nie, hy het opgestaan in die dode, wow, dit is amazing, en wanneer ons die Heere Jesus Christus aan die manier wedergeboorte, ontvang ons ook die geest, wat Jesus uit die dood het opgelak het, en dit gaat ons ook op weg, geloof die Heere, wow, dit is amazing om daar aan te denk, so dit is die lewe, dit is die kracht, dit is die verlossing, dit is die redding van die Heere Jesus Christus, wat ons verkondig aan allemaal, elke dag van ons lewe, en ons lewe moet daarvan getuig, en jy moet een licht wees in die wereld, so dat allemaal getraai kan word, om ook gered te word, loof die Heere. Wat is hy, wat is dit song, is the same spirit, it's the same spirit, that raised Jesus from the dead, dwell in you, dwell in you, if the same spirit, that raised Jesus from the dead, dwell in you, dwell in you, it will quicken your mortal body, if the spirit dwell in you, it will quicken your mortal body. If the spirit dwell in you, if the same spirit that raised Jesus from the dead dwell in you, dwell in you. If the same spirit that raised Jesus from the dead dwell in you, dwell in you. It will quicken your mortal body If the Spirit dwell in you It will quicken your mortal body If the Spirit dwell in you If the same Spirit that raised Jesus from the dead Dwell in you, dwell in you if the same spirit that raised Jesus from the dead dwell in you, dwell in you, it will quicken your mortal body. If the spirit dwell in you, it will quicken your mortal body. If the spirit dwell in you, praise the Lord, hallelujah. So if you don't have the spirit of God in you and you are uh, maybe uh, for twyfel, the doubt that the spirit is in you, give your life to the Lord because through the spiritual rebirth, that is why Jesus Christ did so that we can re receive the spiritual rebirth and then the spirit of God is poured out in your soul and the, while, and at, at the second coming of our Lord yes. Jesus Christ, you will rise from the dead and be eternally with the Lord Jesus. Yes, so met die weder, ach, met die wederkomst, amper sê ek met die wedergeboorte, yes. met die wederkomst, as jy die geest van God in jou leven het, gaan hy hierdie vergankelike lichaam verander in die oogbank. Amen. Prijs die Heere om die Heere Jesus Christus te ontmoet in die licht, en wanneer jy doodgegaan het en jy is in die himmel, dan kom jy saam met die Heere Jesus Christus met die, met die wederkomst, Amen. en dan gaan jou lichaam um, opge... Opstaan. Ops, opstaan, Amen. en hy gaan hierdie, hierdie vergankelike lichaam opslap, jou siel gaan het opslip, yes, maar die geest van die Heere gaan jou opwek, loof die Heere. Amen. So as jy nie die geest van die Heere en die vandag in jou leven het nie, dan kan jy nie opstaan nie. En die, 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 die jemel ingaan met die verheerlikte lichaam nie. So ons moet seker maak, dat ons die Heere Jesus Christus aangeneem het en die geest van die Heere in ons leven het, so dat hy hier die vergankelike lichaam kan opwek, loof die Heere. It's just amazing, I just a quick thought because before you better go over to the use of the communion, when the Spirit of God is in you, the Bible says in one place that the Spirit always returns back to God. Amen. That's why you need a spiritual rebirth, because it's the only way you can receive the Holy Spirit is by the spiritual rebirth Thanks through the, the Lord Jesus Christ. And when the Spirit is in your soul, 
and this body dies. The spirit that is in your soul wants to return and wants to go back to God. Yes. And now you're, because the spirit is in, in your soul and is attached, attached to your soul, your soul goes where the spirit of God is. Amen. Praise the Lord. That's why wow. a sinner cannot be saved. Yo, so as jy nie die geest van die Heere het nie, want dat hy die geest van die Heere wil altyd terugkeer na God toe. So as die geest van die Heere in jou siel is, gaan jou siel terugkeer na God toe, want die geest van die Heere wat in jou siel is, wil terugkeer na God toe. So as jy nie die, die geest van die Heere in jou siel het, tot wedergeboorte gekom het gered is nie, gaan jou siel nie jimmel toe nie, want dan gaan die geest van God nie terugkeer na die jimmel toe nie, want hy is nie in jou nie, dan gaan jy in die duisternis land. En dit is wat ons volgend uitroep. Ons kan het nie genoeg uitroep op hierdie licht nie, en in die wereld, en hy pas sien, dat ons die Heere Jesus Christus moet aanneem in die wedergeboorte, jou hart vorm gee, jou hart oopbreek, oopmaak, en sê, Heere, ek is verloore, ek gaan die jimmel toe, en ek gaan hel toe, maak jou hart vandag oop, neem die Heere Jesus Christus aan, so dat jou siel gered kan word, loof die Heere. Allee, praise the name of the Lord. So let's continue with the communion, praise the name of the Lord. Jesus Christ in the night, uh, he had the supper, and we must remember it was a feast time, and this wow. is supposed to be a feast. Our whole life yes. must be a feast in Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. It must not be a depression. Amen. <laughs> yes, amen. So he took the bread while at, at a certain stage in this feast, he took bread and he gave thanks, and we go, you can take your bread, and we go, first going to give thanks to the Lord. Father, we thank you in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, and Jesus Christ, we thank you that you came, and that you Amen. were willing to die for us, and to rose from the dead, and to overcome the, uh, the works of the devil, and uh, Father, through your Son, Jesus Christ, you deliver us, and you set us free, and Jesus, you said, everyone that believes in your name will be saved, Everyone that are willing to accept the Lord Jesus Christ as the Son of God, the Redeemer of God, <laughs> the Mediator of God. There's so many amazing words that describes you, Lord Jesus yeah. Christ. You are the Emmanuel, God with us, our yes, Lord. We just want to worship you. And I thank you that you came and gave your life. And that's for one second you gave heed to any things of the flesh and sin so that you can overcome the devil when you die uh, when you died on the cross and i thank you father i thank you lord jesus christ that we today can uh, take this bread as a manifestation and act it out and uh, 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 and and world. we can father preach it to the whole Amen. world what we believe that this bread is a symbolism of our lord jesus christ that died for us and we are partakers of his body and afterwards also the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. So you can take your bread and you can break off a piece. And this is what Jesus said as he broke the piece of bread that he said, this is how my body was broken for you so that you can partake of my body. Not just physically, but spiritually as well. So you can take your bread and you can eat it with your genet. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Now, after the supper, after I've eaten the bread, he took uh, the wine. It is also the grape juice. And he said, this is the blood of the New Testament, wow. the new covenant for the remission of sin. And when we drink of this this morning, we symbolize and we profess that the blood of Jesus Christ is the blood of the new covenant. We are part of his body. Amen. And through the blood of Jesus Christ, we can receive remission of sin. So Christ you can take Lord. a sip of the grape juice. Praise the Lord. New testament. Praise the Lord. New testament. Yes, a testament. We've got in the Bible the Old Testament, the New Testament. Testament literally means covenant. Amen. So it's the new covenant. Amen. 
ja, die, die testament van vergifnis, van verlossing, van redding, van vrijmaking. Wanneer die oude testament kon dit niet doen nie. Wauw, prijs die Heere. So, ons erken dit vir oogend, ons verkondig dit vir oogend, dat daar nou redding is vir ons siele loof die Heere. I mean, I hope that everybody could have taken part of the communion. If you weren't privileged this morning, well, please do so afterwards as well. Nice you can yeah. do it in your own private as well, or you can uh, put on the sermon and follow with us. Amen. <coughs> now this morning we have a very interesting topic. It's actually more interesting that the, the, the theme in Afrikaans than in English. In nebel. We have a very interesting topic in the nebel. Now, what happened? We have now Friday, we have so lekker over the onderwerp of over the script gesels in Jesaja. Uh, yeah, over vergif, zonder vergifnis yes. en so on. Yes. And he said, neem it weg, so see, uh, work your nebel weg. No. He said, I tell you over training out so as a nebel. In your son, this is a volkier terug na my toe, want ek het jou verlos. En this is Isaiah 44 verse 22. Ja, so ek en my man het dan so'n bykie lekker gesels, en vrijdag had ek Karl en Marlies, en, en de Bora en Wallis hier gekeier, en ons begint toen weer so lekker daar oor gesels, en hierdie woord het ons weer so getref, en ons toch nie, ons moet hierdie woord gaan opsoek, ons moet gaan kyk wat beteken het verder. So dis waar ons boodskap volgend gaan. Yes, so this morning, uh, we, in, in this week Friday, we had a all Afrikaans service, we spoke about forgiveness, how God forgives you in a moment, in an instant, Amen. when He, when you ask Him forgiveness. And the one scripture that we uh, that we read was in Isaiah 44 verses 22. <laughs> Isaiah 44 verses 22. Just, I'm going to read it in English, but in Afrikaans they use a little a different word, but I'm going to explain it to you in English. Yes. I've blotted out like a thick cloud your transgressions. Wow. And like a cloud, your sins return to me, for I have redeemed you. Wow. It, and, and here we can see, what is the forward in the way? What is forward in the way? Well, in English. Yeah. Um, uh, uh, every time when I think of this word, it just flies out of my mind. I'm going to. <laughs> Somebody's going to tell us, but I want to use this word. Where were they? Precondition. Condition. I say condition. Yes. The condition to receive this forgiveness that, that the Lord will blot out your transgressions is to come to Him. So the condition yeah. is. Thank you, Ismay. Yeah, Thank I'm, you, Deborah. Yes, yes, there it comes. Go, 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 go. <laughs> so praise the Lord. So the condition for us, for God, for us to receive the forgiveness of sin, we yes. must go to Him. Yeah, so the forewarden, what was he saying in Jesaja 44, 22, he said, Ek tel jou oortredinge uit soos een nevel. In your son is soos a wolk. Keer terug na my, want ek is jou verlos. So die voorwaarde om hier die oortredinge en dinge uit te delg en om um, uitgesorteerd te word, is om na die Heere toe te kom. So dit, daar is nie aan, daar, dit, dit kan nie op ander manier gebeur nie. So dit is die voorwaarde hoe ons dit kan uitsorteer. Now, I just want to, before you're going to continue and explain this, because a thick cloud, sorry, just a thick cloud is also a nebula. Afrikaans it's called a nebula, that's called nebula, but we're going to come back to the word just now. Um, God, this is a prophetic word in Isaiah. First of all, for Israel, the physical Israel. Okay, that's first of all. So God says, I have forgiven you. Yeah. And now Isaiah lived more than 700 years before Jesus Christ came. And this is one of the prophetic words that came into fulfillment when Jesus Christ was on earth. Sure, that is beautiful. So, Jesaja had 700 years before Christus gelewe. And here was a prophetic word that this is what gaan gebeur. Wanneer the Heere Jesus Christus komt, dan gaan hier die prophetic word in vervulling kom. Wow, that's amazing. God. So tyd is nie ons tyd nie, nie, as jy denk 700 jaar yes. ter, uh, voor die Heere Jesus Christus was hier die profetiese woord al geuiter. That's yeah. amazing. And the thing is, God um, already said, I'm going to forgive you, but you must come to me. Yeah. It's not just a question of I forgive you, you must come to me. Now, when Jesus Christ were on earth, 
every time or a lot of times when he did a miracle, he said to the person, your sins are forgiven. Yes. Okay. So the connection, the physical proof that God has forgiven the sins of the physical Israel. It was, first of all, the physical Israel that God has forgiven them was the fact that Jesus Christ came and he healed all the sick that came to him and also administered the gospel to them. Ja, so toe Jesus Christus op aarde was, hy het eerst gegaan oor die vis, fysische Israel, want hierdie profetiese woord het nou eerst gegaan oor die fysische Israel, wat verlos mis word en so aan. En dit is wat Jesus Christus kom doen, het elke keer wanneer hy iemand kom genees het, van die jode, het hy gesê, jou sonde is jou is vergewe. So dit is, hoe het het al reeds, um, dit was al een voorloper van vergifnis yeah. gewees, wat hy kom wees het. Dit is hoe hy sy volk gaan vrymaak, dier die vergifnis van hulle sonde. Wow. And, if you look, uh, for instance, at the person at Bethesda that lie there 40 years sick, when Jesus Christ healed him, he said, go and sin no more. Yeah. The, the women that committed uh, adultery, go and sin no more. I've forgiven you, go and sin no more. Okay? So there was always a condition yeah. to the forgiveness. Yes. Okay? So this is what God is saying here as well. Yes, I will forgive you. And I have already decided I'm going to forgive you. But you, as first of all, remember, first of all, it was all about the physical Jews. Um, I have forgiven you, but you must not go and sin anymore after I've forgiven you. And we know the majority of the Jews just went back to the old ways. Ja, so, die Heere Jesus Christus het so mooi kon verkondig, dat dit is, hulle sonde is vergewe, maar hulle moet nie weer gaan sondag nie, so die man by Bethesda, het hy gesê, gaan in sondag nie, meer nie. Die vrou wat overspel gepleeg het, het hy gesê, ek het jou vergewe, maar gaan in sondag nie, meer nie. So, wanneer die Heere jou vergewe, moet jy nie weer gaan sondag nie. Nou, hier het gegaan oor die fysische Israel, wat vergewe moes word, en was die profetiese woord, en al die dinge, maar ons weet, die meeste van hulle, het weer gaan sondag. Yes. Het nie rachtig die Heere Jesus Christus aangeneem nie. Yes. Hulle het nie weet tot wedergeboorte gekom nie. Hulle het het aangegaan met hulle ou lewe. So dit is wat nog verstip vandag in elk geval in ons lewe ook gebeur. Die meeste gaan maar net aan met hulle lewe. As ons, as of die Heere hulle maar net moet automaties vergewe, maar dit gaan nie gebeur nie. Onthou net, as jy nie na die Heere te kom, jou hart vir hom gee, uitsorteer, die Heere Jesus Christus aanneem in die wedergeboorte, vergifnis van sonde vra nie, gaan jou sonde nie vergewe automaties word nie. Jy moet na die Heere te kom en het kom uitsorteer. Now I just want to read two or three scriptures that just confirms the fact that um, Jesus Christ first had to come to the Jews so that they could, the physical Israel, so they could receive uh, uh, forgiveness of sin, but they had to continue in that forgiveness and we know it didn't happen. So first of all, let, let us read Romans 15 and we're just going to read verses 8. Now I say that Jesus Christ has become a servant to the circumcision for the truth of God to confirm the promises made to the fathers. Now just verse 9, and that the Gentiles might glorify God for his mercy as is written, for this reason I will confess to you among the Gentiles and sing your name. So here he just says, God first had to confirm, first of all, to confirm the promises. And what was that promise? The promise of forgiveness of sin, as you have already said in Isaiah, and there's so many other prophecies as well that are that were uh, fulfilled in Jesus Christ. So first there, and then to the Gentiles, to us, the moment when Jesus Christ rose from the dead. So Romeine 15 vers 8, en ek sê dat Jesus Christus een dienaar geword het van die besnijdenis, terwille van die uh, waarachtigheid van God, om die beloftes aan die vaders te bevestig, en dat die heidene terwille van sy barmhartigheid God kan verheerlik, soos geskrywe is, daarom sal ek die le- um, loof onder die nasies, en tot eer van die naam besalm sing. So, die Heere Jesus Christus het eers ge- um, 
eindelijk die jode kom uitsorteer. Yes. En uh, dit was die profetiese woord, dat die joodse volk uitgesorteerd moet word, vergewe word, um, herstel moet word, yes, en al die dinge, amen. soos wat het in die oud testament geskrywe is, al jare voordat die Heer Jesus Christus gekom het. So, um, dit was eerst die eerste bevestiging geweest. en daarna was dit vir die heidene vir ons, waar die Heer Jesus Christus kon anneem, nadat hy uit die doodheid opgestaan het, loof die Heer. Ok, just one more scripture, then we're gonna continue. This we read in Acts 3 verses 26, Acts 3 verses 26, to you first, God having raised up his servant Jesus, send him to you, send him to bless you in turning every away every one of you from his iniquities. So here we see God has first sent Jesus Christ to the physical Jews to bless them with what? To bless them with repentance so that they can repent from their um, evil ways, from their iniquity. So Jesus Christ came and the remission came, and the mercy came, but they had to accept it, first of all the Jews, and later us as well. So dit is net mooi om te sien, hier so in, in handelinge 3 vers 26, God het nadat hy sy sien Jesus opgewek het, om eers vir julle gestuur, om julle te steen, sien, dier elkeen van sy boosheden te bekeer. So dit is hy die jode gesien het, nee, dier vir Jesus te steer, so dat hulle, hulle self van hulle boosheden kon bekeer, loof die jode. En ja. daarna natuurlijk ons ook. Yes, amen. So I just wanted to mention that, because sometimes there's a confusion, regarding this as well. But let's return to Isaiah 44 verses 22 regarding the navel and the nebula, the thick cloud. Now, when we when we talk about the thick cloud, now first of all, the original word for this thick cloud was a nebula. Why a nebula? Because a nebula is a thick cloud that forms over time. Par particles, there's a whole scientific thing of it, yeah. and, but I'm, we're not going to go in that as well. It's just a basic principle. A thick cloud forms and on uh, in, in the space, first of all, in the space you get a thing like space dust. And all the space dust come and collects and come together and form this one mass big cloud. Now that is in outer space. Then you get here on earth, you get the clouds and uh, 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 Isaiah 44 mentions the thick clouds and the clouds, the second cloud is just a thin mist. And the other cloud is a thick cloud that also is water that collects in one place together and it forms this big thick cloud. Now, why God says he will remove that because that thick cloud blocks us and you cannot see through or past this thick cloud. Okay, so this is first of all why the Bible is using the word thick cloud or nebula if you might use it in some other translations as well. So, as we now gaan kyk na hierdie woord nebel, en dit was nou so interessant geweest. So in die ruimte is het allerhande stof deeltjes wat saam pak. Yes. En dan maak het hierdie dik, dik wolk in die ruimte. Hulle sê, nader aan kan dit sterre veroorzaak. Dit is een geweldige ding. So dit is hele wetenskapelike ding, hoe al hierdie groep in mekaar pak en dan maak het hierdie dik, dik, dik wolk. Nou, um, hulle praat ook van miswolke. So, dit is in dik wolk en al die dinge. So, dit is al die stofdeeltjes en waterdeeltjes en alles wat so saam pak. En dan maak het hierdie dichte, dichte wolk. Nou, um, as jy nou mooi daarna kyk, daai nevel vorm baie keer om ons. Daai dichte wolk, Daai wolk wat jy nie kan deersien nie, daai yes. donker wolk, wat met allerhande dinge um, saam pak, vorm naderhand so om jou, dat jy daarna die verder kan sien nie. En dit is wat die Heere sê, hy sal hierdie nevel, hierdie donker wolk, hierdie dichte wolk, waar die jy nie meer kan sien nie, sal hy wegvat. Maar jy moet nou om te kom. Jy yes. moet nou daar kom uitsorteer. Wow. Well, and the fact that God connects it immediately with sin, with transgression, it means it's this thick cloud of sin unrighteousness, because yeah. the word of God says all unrighteousness are sin. So everything that are against God is part of this sin, this thick cloud, this Amen. nebula, this nebula. Yes. It, it all And it forms, sometimes it forms over time. And most yeah. of the times it forms over time. Obviously in the natural it can be a quicker process, but the, the, the principle that we need to understand it's a thick cloud that forms over time and eventually oh. it becomes so thick and so dark that it causes a separation. You cannot see the sun. You can hardly see your arm before you. It depends on how thick this yeah. cloud is. It, isn't it so? Ja, so dit is baie interessant dat die Heere 
um, hierdie sonde en ongerechtigheid dadelijk kan hierdie woord van nevel gekoppel het, nee, want hierdie sonde en ongerechtigheid, alles wat daarmee te doen het, is op jou ouwe sonde en ongerechtigheid, alles wat jou wegtrek van die heren, wat jou moedeloos maak, wat maak dat jy nie meer verder kan yes. sien, um, en die heren kan loof en prijs en al die dinge nie, dit maak dat hierdie wolk Vorm. en dit wordt alles aan sonde gekoppel, aan ongerechtigheid gekoppel, en dit is wat weggevat wordt wanneer jy naar die jere te kom. Wow, <laughs> that's so amazing. Nice. If you just think of a mist, uh, a mist cloud, if the sun comes out, obviously here in the west coast, we, 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 we see it almost every single day. Sometimes the clouds from the sea is so thick, you cannot even see the see. Um, the beach. <laughs> yeah. you, you stay 10 meters from the beach and you cannot even see the yeah. sand on the beach. And when the sun comes out, it is a question of minutes. Then you thought, where were the clouds? It's gone. Ja, so baie keer kom hierdie miswolke verskrikkelijk dig op. En ek denk daar aan, joh, jy kan nie dier hierdie mis sien nie. Dit is geweldig, jy kan nie eens die see, jy kan nie eens die strand sien, jy kan nie 10 meter voor jou sien, so dik is hierdie miswolk. Hmm. Maar wanneer die son uitkom, dit is altyd so amazing om het te sien, een paar minuten later, dan het hierdie mis verdwijn. Dan denk jy, waar is hierdie dichte miswolke hier? Wow, dit is dit so amazing. Now first of all, when we look at mist, uh, the, this big cloud is to separate, so you cannot see, something that clouds, okay? Yeah. Now, when we read in Isaiah 59 verses 1 and 2, let's just let, uh, read this two, two verses. Isaiah 59 verses 1 and 2. Behold, the Lord's hand is not shortened, that it cannot save, nor is ear heavy, that it cannot hear. But your iniquity have separated sure. you from your God, and your sins have hidden his face from you, yeah. so, that when he will, so that he will not hear. Wow. In other words, yeah, immediately, one of the things that causes this thick cloud is sin that separates, and yeah, it, 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 uh, um, uh, um, it, it, <laughs> yeah, it shows, it symbolizes this wall of separation, so wow. it stays with the idea of separation. Wow, kom ons lees in Jesaja 59 vers 1 en 2, Kijk, die hand van die Heere is nie te kort om te help nie, en sy oor is nie te zwaar om te hoor nie, maar jylle ongerechtig Heere het een skuitsmeer geword tussen jylle en jylle God, en jylle sondes het sy aangezicht vir jylle verberg, so dat hy nie hoor nie. Wow, en het is so cool om te denk dat die Heere sy hand is nooit te kort om te help nie, en sy oor is nooit te zwaar om te hoor nie, maar omdat ons toelaat, dat ons sonde en ongerechtigheid die scheiding tussen ons en God bring, kan ons om nader aan die mee sien nie. Hy kan ons nader aan die mee hoor nie, want die scheiding raak te groe, dit is een um, is iets wat tussen ons en God begin staan, en dit is, dit is wat hy hiervan praat, dit is ons ongerechtig Heere, ons sonde, alles wat ons toelaat in ons leven, wat die donker wolk vorm, wat ons um, sky van God. Yes, and if we continue in the scripture, we're gonna, we're gonna uh, uh, read a few verses, that, uh, that, that will explain and show us, what causes the thick cloud. What causes this nebula in our life? Yeah. Okay, the separation. If you continue reading in verse uh, in uh, Isaiah 59, it talks about wow. no one calls for justice, nor does anyone plead for truth. Sure. The truth is missing. It says in verses 15, um, verses 14, and righteousness stands far off, for truth is fallen in the street. Wow. And it, uh, equity cannot enter, so truth falls. If you read through the whole chapter, you'll see the iniquity. Because of iniquity, there is no more truth. Wow. So the truth are missing in the streets. It has fallen before sin and unrighteousness. And that hmm. is scary to think of it. So, so as you read Jesaja 49, 59, lees, gaan jy sien wat veroorzaak hier die um, nevel in jou leven. En dit veroorzaak dat die dat die um, waarheid naderhand wegval, vermis raak, so dat daar nie meer waarheid is nie, so gaan lees gerust dier alles, dan um, kan my naderhand sien, wow, dit is hoe al hierdie ongerechtighede begin saampak, en maak dat die waarheid nie meer daar is nie. Ja, so actually sin and iniquity start to separate us from truth, so that we are so blinded and clouded in our minds, 
that we don't see the truth of the gospel anymore. Ja, so ons kan so verblind raak met soveel dinge, dat ons nie meer die waarheid van die evangelie sien nie, want as jy so bezig raak met jou eie gedagtes, verstand, die moesies en dinge, en hierdie goed vorm so om jou, en het is die skuiding tussen jou en God, dan, dan sien jy naderhand nie meer die waarheid van die woord, en dit wat jou kan losmaak nie. Ok, so let us just confirm this in the New Testament, if you read in Galatians 3 verses 1, O foolish Galatians, who has bewitched you that you should not obey the truth, before whose eyes Jesus Christ was clearly portrayed among you as crucified? This only I wanted to learn from you, that you receive the Spirit by the works of the law or by the hearing of faith. Are you so foolish, having begun in the Spirit, are you now being made perfect by the flesh? So here he says bewitched. Bewitched is like hypnosis. It's over time that a certain preaching, certain gospel preaching, false gospel, and I don't want to go in all the detail on all the scripture, but I think this scripture just condenses everything, all false cost, uh, uh, preaching. And this is one, one thing he, he mentions here is the preaching of Jewish things and physical outward things that we do in the Christian church that are big in the Christian church, Jewish things and other things as well. He says, these things have bewitched you. In other words, it, have, it has clouded you not to obey the truth anymore. Ja, kom ons lees hier in Galatians 3 vers 1. O onverstandige Galatians, wie het jylle betover om die waarheid nie gehoorzaam te wees nie? Weet jylle gehypnotiseer, weet jylle gedagte so vastgevang? Jylle voor wie sy oe Jesus Christus afgeskilder is, as onder jylle gekruisig. Dit alleen wil ek van jylle weet, het jylle die geest ontvang uit die werke van die wet, of uit die prediking van die geloof. So daar is een ding wat ek al klaar anspreek, uh, uh, doktrine wat al klaar anspreek, van as jy terug gaan onder die wet, um, jy kan nie die geest daar ontvang nie. Jy die geest ontvang, um, dier die prediking van die nieuwe testament. Hy sê, is jylle so onverstandig, nadat jylle met die geest begin het, eindig jylle nou in die vlees. So jylle val terug na dinge toe, wat in elk geval nie volgens die woord van God is nie. Het jylle vir niet so baie gelei, as dit maar vir niet was. Hy wat jylle dan in die geest verleen, en die kracht onder jylle waar, ook ons gaan nie tot ons nie het. So ek het jy graag gesê. Ja, so wat nou wat gebeur het, dit was baie keer soveel vals doktrines en dinge, wat ons so inneem, elke dag van ons leven, en dit betover ons, dit maak dat ons nie meer nuchter en waakzaam is nie, en dit veroorzaak hierdie donker wolk om ons, om nie meer die waarheid van die evangelie raak te sien nie. Net om te denk om, 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 wat die verkondiging van die, van die, um, siepergenade of die, hypergenade, sieper of hyper, is die selfde ding seker maar. So jy word net automatisch, wat is vergewe vir jou sonde, wat jy doen en gedoen het en alles, ja, as jy die dag jou hart vir die Heere gee, dan word jou ou lewe vergewe, dis weg, dis yes. klaar, dis verby. Maar die sonde wat jy daarna doen, moet jy gaan belei, so dat jy vergifnis daarvan kan ontvang. En dis wat hy so mooi sê in Jesaja, dat hy sê, kom na my toe, kom sorteer dit uit, kom maak jou hart oop en al die dinge, so dat hy donker wolk, van jou wat kan verdwaai, want anders gaan hy wolk net donkerder en donkerder en donkerder word, en as jy weer sien, is jy totaal en al weggeval van die gezonde woord. Yes, and let's continue re reading the, uh, Ephesians 4 verses 14 and 15. Ephesians 4 verses 14 and 15 is all about the gifts and why Jesus Christ rose from the dead to, gave us the, to give us these gifts, etc., etc. Then in verses 14, that we should no longer be children tossed to and fro and carried about every wind of doctrine by trickery of men in the cunning craftiness, craftiness of deceitful plotting, yeah. but speaking the truth in, lo in love may grow up in all things into him who is the head Christ. So here he says, people, the, how does uh, a false doctrine come about? by the deceitfulness of people, and we lend out our ears yeah. to everyone that just say Jesus, and just say I'm a Christian, and just gives a, 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 a quote, and most of the time it's philosophical yeah. quotes, it's even quotes from man, from men, and this is what the deceitful plotting of trickery of men, so, false doctrine comes in when we adhere to the trickery of men, but we must preach the gospel in truth and in love. Ephesians 4 vers 14 So that ons nie meer kinders sal wees 
En dit is die groot ding, as al hierdie goed ons so heen en weer gooi, al hierdie leeringe en leerstelling, want ons in die woord van God verstaan en doen en, 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 en so aan nie, en in volwassenheid in die evangelie kom nie, is ons as kinders blij as as kind, God sien jou nie as volwassen nie, yes. hy sien jou as a kind, yes. hy is as so a wees wat die um, golwe geslinger en heen en weer gedraai word, dier elke wind van lering, dier die bedreerheid van die mense, dier sleeheid, om lustig en tot dwaling te bring, so, dit is leringe van mense, hy sê, dit is leringe van duivels, jo, so, as dit nie volgens die gezonde woord van die heren is nie, kan jy dit nie aanneem nie, en dit gaan jou een kind hou, en jy gaan heen en weer geslinger word, jy gaan nooit standvastigheid, onbeweeglikheid kry, in die evangelie, die gezonde woord, in die evangelie nie, maar terwijl ons in die liefde, die waarheid betracht, en alles sal opgroei, in hom wat die hoof is, namelijk Christus, uit wie die hele lichaam, goed saamgevoeg, en saamverbind, dier die ondersteuning van elke lid, geef volgens die werking van elke afsonderlijke deel, in sy mate, die groei van die lichaam bevorder, vir sy eie opbouwing, in liefde, so as ons die waarheid van die woord verstaan en ons is deel van hierdie lichaam, dan bly jy ingeskakel in hierdie, de, in hierdie yes, lichaam, jy bly een, dan gaan hy nie jou hier naartoe slinger en daar en daar naartoe en jy is nie meer deel van die lichaam en jy weet nie meer waar jy moet wees nie, as jy saam bly en jy is deel van die gezonde woord, dan sal jy volwasse raak in die evangelie. Yes, and now when he says in 1 Corinthians 5, and we've already ministered about this as well, that he says, we must, uh, we, uh, that Paul says, they didn't speak uh, uh, the gospel in human wisdom, but in maturity, maturity of heart. Sure. So when we, when we listen to human interpretation, fleshly interpretation, false doctrine interpretation, eventually we get so clouded that we cannot see the truth of the gospel that really sets us free. And this is what he also, also says in Colossians and 1 Thessalonians, where he says, persuasive words and flattery words. And we must be careful for persuasive and flattery words, because there's a lot of people for their own gain, they use persuasive and flattery words. Sure. Dit is, dit is een groot ding, my man, baie keer is dit hierdie vleiende woorde wat ons so traak, dit is mooie woorde, dit is vleiende woorde, maar die kracht van God tot redding is nie daar nie, yes. dit is wat hy sê, die evangelie bestaan nie uit woorde nie, maar uit die kracht van God, so die woorde wat jy aanhoor, maak dit jou los, maak dit jou vry, is daar verlossing, is daar kracht in die woord, is dit die gezonde, ware woord, of is dit menselike wijsheid, menselike dinge wat gepraat word, wat jy aanneem, om hulle eie voordeel uit jou uit te traak, en baie keer voel ons, oh dit is so wonderlijke mens, kijk hoe sag is hy, kijk hier die wonderlijke woorde wat hy praat, en al die dinge, en dit verblind ons, en dit maak die wolk nog donkerder om ons, om werkelijk te sien, waar word die evangelie sien, al gaan, om werkelijk te sien jyre, is hierdie persoon bezig met u of nie, of gaan het net oor een klomp vleiende woorde, yes. en dis wat die jyre volgen met ons praat, dat ons kan loskom en vrykom en nuchter raak in die evangelie, is daar kracht in die woorde, is dit een woord wat levend is, is hy krachtig, kan hy in jou werk, kan hy jou verlos, kan hy jou vry maak, of is dit net een vleierei ter voordeel van die persoon wat het vir jou sê? Ja, yeah, cause what at the end of the day the Lord Jesus Christ says, the fruit, you will know the one Yo. by his fruit. Because a lot of people, and this is the problem in our Christian church, you get a pastor or whoever it is, he speaks, he, he's ministering on a platform, you don't know what how his life is. You, you as a congregation member has no idea what his life is about. He ministers to you, you go home, he go home, you give your money, you are happy, you listen to a gospel, and you just uh, feel that they're doing the work of the Lord. So at the end of the day, how is how does we as ministers, how does we as Christians mingle with each other? And this is what the Lord has laid in my wife and myself's heart as well. Yes. Go between the people so that they can know you. Don't just Amen. preach the gospel. Go to them and eat with them. Go and sleep there so that I can know you yeah. and you know them as well. Yes. And then the fruit that comes from there, because it's easy just to lock yourself up in a house or whatever the case may be and talk a lot of things, but give yourself out. Yeah. And there is where the difference is lying. Do you have fruit or don't you have fruit? Sure, my man. It is nogal erg om aan te denk, 
die ene die boom as hy vrug ken. Yes. Nou as jy nie die boom ken nie, gaan jy nie sy vrug ken nie. Yes. En dit maak vir sy sin vir oogend. Yes. Dat ons kan nie die boom wees wat net wil preek nie. Wat sy vrug bring ons na vore? Yes. Wat sy vrug lever ons op? En amal moet ons vrug kan sien en amal moet vir ons vrug kan yes. eet. So hoe gebeur dit? Jy moet tussen amal wees. Jy moet by amal wees. Jy moet daar wees waar mense jou sien, waar jy jou vrug kan sien, waar hy van jou kan eet en kan weet wie jou is en jou kan leer ken. Want het is makkelijk om jou self af te sky en een kan te wees en net een boodskap te kom oordra, ek bedoel, as ons net op die internet gepreek het, ja. sou jy ons nooit geken het nie. Jy sou nooit geweet het wie ons is nie, ons, ons kan wonder like, like ons hy so. Ons kan die mooiste woorde gebruik. <laughs> ons kan hy so net wow wees en amal kan denk, wow, die mense is net amazing. Maar wanneer jy tussen die mense inbeweeg, dan sien hulle jou, hulle leer ken jou, hulle sien jou vrug, hulle weet van jou, en dit is hoe jy kan weet, of jou vrug reg is of nie, en baie keer wanneer die mens tussen mense kom, dan hoor jy, hoe sê mense nie, maar daai ouwe is nie lekker nie, daar is een probleem, dan weet jy, jou vrug is nie reg nie, yes. wat hoe gaan jy dit ooit weet, jy moet een klankboord hee, jy moet mense hee, tussen wie jy kom, hulle moet jou ken, jy moet deel wees van mense sy leven, jy moet in my huise ingaan, jy moet daar gaan eet, en jy moet daar oorslaap, en al die dinge, en dis wat die heren met ons moet doen, want jy moet verander, jou vrug moet uitsorteer, jou vrug moet reg kom, so dat jy hierdie ryp vrug kan dra, nou is dit nooit een saak is in jou leven, om te in hierdie dinge te kom nie, en daar nou nooit uitdagings in jou leven is nie, gaan jou vrug nooit verander nie, want jy kan jou sal wegsteek. Yes, cause you, right? and then words can blind yeah. when you listen to that person, cause words can sound, if you are a fluent speaking person, you have a nice voice, you have a nice way, then it's easy to blind people, yeah. and Sometimes our hearts are open towards, and let us read here in yeah. Romans 16 verses 17 and 18. And this is a big portion of scripture that we need to understand. Romans uh, 16 verses 17 and 18. Now I urge you, brethren, know those who causes the vision. So here he's talking about the attitude, the way of people, the character of people that causes the visions. Yeah. And offenses contrary to the doctrine which you have learned. So it's contrary to the truth, the gospel of spirit and truth. And now he says, avoid him. Yeah. So if somebody comes in and he causes a division, but sometimes we are so clouded that we don't even see that person is busy with a division and it looks like that the person is, uh, that, that are ministering the gospel and spirit and truth is actually the one that's doing the division. But let us read further. For those are such, for those who are such, do not serve our Lord Jesus Christ, no. but their own belly, no. and by smooth words and flattering speech, no. deceive the hearts of the simple. Yo. Smooth and flattering words, nice voice, never come out who you are. Deceive the simple, deceive those who are babes in Christ. Sure. And therefore the Lord helps us in this ministry so that we can keep on revealing Amen. the truth of the gospel so that these thick clouds can go. But now God is reaching out to us for us to acknowledge our wrong so that a thick cloud in our life can go. Are we willing to submit? Are we willing to acknowledge that we followed after things? Or are we just going to justify ourselves uh, uh, further? Sure, Romeine 16 vers 17. En ek vermaan jylle broeders, hou hulle in die oog wat twee draag en aanstoot, aanstoot veroorzaak die nie leer wat jylle geleer het. En vir my hulle want sulke mense dien nie onse Heere Jesus nie, maar hulle eie buik en hulle ver, verlei dier hulle vriendelike en mooi woorde die harte van die eenvoudig is. Nou is dit nie so nie, baie keer um, kom een persoon nie uit met wie hy is of sy is nie, en dit is baie mooi woorde en is allerhande dinge, maar die woord sê, hou sulke mense in oog wat twee dracht veroorzaak, want dis teen die leer van Jesus Christus, dis teen die leer van die woord, so as iemand inkom en hy veroorzaak twee dracht, teen die gezonde leer van die woord, 
dan moet jy die persoon in die oog hou. Jy moet um, nie eers saam met hom gemeenskap heen nie. Jy moet hom um, vir my, sê die woord van die Heere. Want die persoon is nie bezig om die Heere Jesus Christus te dien nie. Al praat hy baie woorde, al sê hy baie woorde, al is dit vleiende woorde, mooie woorde, vriendelijke woorde. En baie keer is ons so um, verblind yes. dier hierdie donker wolk dat ons nie eers kan sien, maar een persoon is nie bezig met die gezonde leer van die waarheid nie, of dat een persoon um, twee dag veroorzaak in die waarheid, en mens sien het baie keer nie raak nie, dan lijkt dit baie keer, asof die persoon wat die waarheid bedien, die twee dag bring, maar dit is die persoon wat om nie onderwerp en uitsorteer nie, met die mooie woorde en allerhande dinge, kom hulle na jou toe, en dit is wat hy sê, hy verlei die harte van die eenvoudig is, so jy is nog nie volwassen genoeg in die evangelie nie, om te verstaan en om te sien en om te, te weet, maar hoor is so jyse probleem nie. So dit is wat die, wat die woord volgend vir ons wil leer. Staan op, word wakker, kry die mistigheid weg, kry die betovering weg, kry al die dinge van die woorde en alles wat die kracht het nie, wat jy nie kan verlos nie, wat jy nie kan vrymaak nie. Kry dit weg en ga na die Heere toe en sorteer dit in jou hart uit, so dat jy die woord van die Heere kan sien en verlossing kan kry en kan volwassen raak in die evangelie. Ja, kos die Lord sê, they serve, they serve their own belly. They don't serve you. Mm. Flattering words are these clouds Yo. that are busy collecting so that you can hear their words. Mm. And most of the time it's out of self-pity <coughs> for selfish gain, not for the gain of the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. Sure. And if we look in the ministry here that you are busy with, that what you, your prayers and your financial contributions, you see the fruit. We go out, we minister, we sort out. Even in the ministry, <laughs> a lot of times we give to those who hasn't got or maybe has fallen short the month in the, at the end of the month. So the, 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 um, the fruit of the gospel is that people are coming to repentance. People are calling out the sin. Last week, while we ministered, the wow, word of God spoke so yeah. deep in our heart that a person just called out the sins in front of God and we didn't even know it. Wow. And this is the power of the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. It's not just words. It's the power, and we ministered about the power of words. Wow, uh, it is, it, is it just flattering words just for our own belly, or is it really to contribute and to spread the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ? Because yeah. that is the fruit that we must see. But sometimes yes. we are so clouded by flattery and smooth speech of people that doesn't even want to show their physical face. Mm. And this is the thing. Sometimes I, I, I've said to a lot of people that... It's easy to criticize, and I thank you for your criticism because I need it as well. But are you? When are you going to minister so that yes. I can hear what is in your heart? Yes, and that is how you self must open bar mark, and that is how you must pray and deal in the yes. evangelie met ons met deal so that you can help can work and uitgesorteerd can work so that your vrug can reach kom. And I think in your bediening, see, you are not very flying the word. You can not very flying the word be is not, because the word of kracht work and it makes loss and it makes free and it is a word of kracht and heerlijkheid. So you can not very flying the word be is not. You can not dinge wees nie, want die gezonde woord van die Heere, laat dit nie toe nie. Dit kan nie daar wees nie. Jy mag nie um, vir jou eie voordele klomp vleiende woorde hier oor die licht kom sê nie. Maar dit moet die kracht van God tot redding wees, yes, van verlossing, amen. van vrymaking. Heere, ek roep uit vandag vir siele. Heere, ek kom eerder vandag weer met die waarheid van die woord. Al voel dit vir mense hart en liefdeloos of wat ook al. Dis liefde, want dit wil trak, dit wat wil verlos, dit wil vrymaak, dit wil siele uit die helheid uit al. Yes, en dis amen. woorde van kracht en verlossing en vrymaking, al is dit nie vleiende woorde nie, al is dit nie baie keer mooie woorde nie, so wow, prijs die Heer, hy help ons, en dit is wat laatst week gebeur het, terwijl ons die woord so bedien het, het die woord net gegaan, en in harte gewerk en gepenetreer, en siele losgemaak en vrygemaak, dit was trane gewees, het die Heere net kom losmaak, en mens het hulle sonde uitgeroep voor die Heere, nou dis die woord van kracht, Amen. wat werk, al is jy kilometers van ons af, Die woord van die Heere is leven, dit is krachtig, dit yes, werk, dit verlos, dit maak vry, want is die woord van kracht tot redding loof die Heere. Amen, so praise the name of the Lord, and this is what I think now we, 
will be able to understand 2 Corinthians 10 from verses 4 to 7 that he, th that he says there and he describes how this uh, a high thing is built up against the knowledge of Jesus Christ. What is the knowledge, the truth of the knowledge of Jesus Christ? And that must be cast down if every disobedience, let us read there as well. I just want to read it. I don't want, don't want to read it, but let us read. Otherwise, I'm <laughs> going to stutter over my words. 2 Corinthians 10. 2 Corinthians 10. Uh, ah, yeah, here is 10. Here is 10 from verse 4, I say that. So though we walk in the flesh, we do not war according to the flesh. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty in God for pulling down strongholds. Wow. This is clouds, pulling down the strongholds. Casting down arguments. Mm. <laughs> and every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God, bringing every, uh, every thought into captivity to the obedience of Christ, and being ready to punish all disobedience when your obedience is fulfilled. So wow. we must become obedient so that a disobedience can be punished, can be removed, can be, uh, can, uh, this stronghold of disobedience in our lives can be pulled down and destroyed in our lives. Wow, can I concrete? Oh, yes, 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 yes. yes. <laughs> Still go ahead, I've read it, I've copied it. 10 verses 4. I'm going to lack a break as I'm saying. But the weapons of our strife is not fleeslik, but krachtig dear God, om vestings neer te werp. Wow, dit is net so mooi. Terwijl ons plannen verbreek en elke skans wat opgewerp word in die kennis van God, al hierdie donker wolke, hierdie nevels, wat die om ons gepak het, wow, om dit af te breek en elke gedachte gevangen neem, tot die gehoorzaamheid aan Christus. So kan ek net sê, ge, um, jyre, ek bestraf hierdie gedagtes tot die gehoorzaamheid aan u, of wat moet ek doen? Hierdie dinge wat opgebouw het, wat, my, wat ek nie meer kan sien nie, ek kan nie eers die son van gerechtigheid sien nie, ek kan nie ja. meer die waarheid van die woord sien nie, al die dinge moet afgebreek word, hoe word het afgebreek? Nie dier vleeslike dinge, dier mooi woorde, hier so nie, nee, dier die woord van God, wat krachtig is, om hierdie skanse neer te werp, en wat is dit, hy is volgens so mooi met ons gepraat, Ons moet na om te kom. Yes, ons moet ons leven met hom kom uitsorteer. Ons moet kom onderwerp aan sy woord. Hy sê so mooi, nader tot my en ek sal tot jou nader. Ek sal jou hoor, ek sal jou verlos, ek sal jou vry maak. Maar ons moet na om te gaan. Ons moet sy woord aan jy volgend en sê, Jere, alles wat my so kom toemaak het, dat ek nie meer kon nuchter wees en waakzaam en gehoor het van die waarheid van die woord nie, moet ek volgend kom afbreek en ek moet na u te kom en te kom uitsorteer. And what does he says? We must remove, we must cut off the flattery words yes. and if it comes through a person, you must not further listen to that person, yes. listen to that preaching. It can be individual. It can be as individual that's not even a, a minister of the gospel that is just uh, as one side and just saying a lot of things the lord says we must cut off what what say in english afrikaans ons moet vermy so it doesn't help just to confess we must remove yeah. we must cut off yeah. we must separate yes. from that thing that are clouding our minds not to see the truth of the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. And this is how these high things get broken down. How the strong things get broken down. Yes. When we read on Facebook and we are busy there with the feet. Every single fleshly feed that you see are busy clouding your mind. Whether it is the sport or the news or somebody's business or just a joke. It's all things that are... Uh, uh, the, when, when we take the cell phone, here's the cell phone. And we read there every single thing that it, this is a particle, this is a particle, this is a particle. Eventually we become so clouded with the things that we see on Facebook. This is just one example. There's a lot of others as well. This is just one example. And we are so clouded. It might not even be a physical false preaching, but it's things of the world yep. that clouds our mind. And when we hear the gospel, we don't understand the gospel. We don't see the gospel of truth. And then we rather our heart follows after those that are busy with smooth and flattering words. Sure. And this, this is how we get deceived. My man, so alles wat jy inneem, wat nie van die Heere is nie, enig is, of jy nou op jou Facebook kyk, en of jy nou met jou phone bezig is, of wat ook al, dis alles deelkies wat saam pak, om hierdie nevel te vorm, 
om hier die donker wolk te vorm om jou. En ek denk, jy het ook al beleef, wanneer mens so bezig is met die wereld, en al die dinge, en grappies, en allerhande dinge wat so pak, 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 naderhand is jy so in so een toestand van donkerheid en doodsheid, Dit voel nie eens meer of jy die Heere die nie. Jy yes, voel nader dat jou hart kan nie eens meer verlos word nie. Nee, want het is so toegepak met die goed. Maar dit is wat die Heere vandag vir ons sê. En dis die hoop in die Heere. Wow, dis dit so amazing. Kom na my toe. Yeah. Want ek het jou verlos. Yeah. Die Heere het jou siel kom red. Hy het jou kom verlos. En nou kan jy na hom te kom. Om al hierdie dinge te kom openbaar maak. So dat die son van gerechtigheid weer kan skyn. So dat jy dit kan sien. So dat jy die licht kan sien. So dat jou licht weer helder kan skyn. En die donker en doodsheid en al die dinge kan gaan en dit is hoe mens dit afbreek. Ja, yeah, let us read just one or two verses here in 2 Corinthians 11 as well. How Satan works. I say, I, I, I say, <laughs> <laughs> 2 Corinthians 11 from verse 2. For I'm jealous for you with a godly jealousy. For I have betrothed you to one husband that I may present you as a chaste virgin, virgin to Christ. But I fear lest somehow as the serpent deceived Eve by his craftiness, so, yeah. so your minds may be corrupted from the simplicity that is in Christ. For if he who comes preaching another Jesus, whom we have not preached, or if you received a different spirit, which you have not received, or a different gospel, which you have not accepted, you may well put up with it. And then from verses uh, 13, he talks about uh, our Satan, verses 14, transforms him in an angel, angel of light. And therefore, his apostles, his prophets that comes in the name of Jesus, transforms them as well. And they use the words of God to cloud our minds wow. from the simplicity, the truth, the power that sets us free in Christ. Uh, this is how Satan clouds the mind of us as believers. Uh, he comes through those that think that looks like apostles, that looks like prophets, that looks like preachers. And Satan... Yeah changes him in an angel of light. And so his followers do the same. His servants do the same. <laughs> Those are, are doing his will do the same. And they use the word of God, but with a deception, because it's all about their own belly, about wow. their own lust, lust. And eventually you are turned away from the simplicity of the gospel that set you free in the beginning. Wow, dit is so cool. 2 Korintiërs 11 vers 3 Maar ek vrees, net soos die slang Eva verleid, die sy lustigheid bedrieg het, jylle sinne so miskien bedorwe kan raak, vervreemd van die oprechtheid teenoor Christus. So toe Eva haar hart oopmaak, toe kom die slang die gif in, en dit kom ook al bedorwe. En want as iemand kom en een ander Jesus verkondig, as wat ons verkondig het, of as jylle ander gees ontvang, as wat jylle ontvang het, jo, het is een ander oortuiging, nee, gees is oortuiging, as een ander oortuiging in jou hart inkom, as jou hart oopmaak vir een ander oortuiging, dan is jou sinne verblind, jy denk nie meer normaal, soos wat volgens die woord nie, nie normaal nie, (laughs) of een ander evangelie, as wat jylle aangeneem het, laat jylle jylle dit goed geval, so baie keer maak jy jou hart so oop vir een ander oortuiging, dat het jou goed klink, dat het jou recht klink, dat jy dit begin anneem, dat jy wegval van die waarheid van die woord, soos wat Eva hart opgemaak het vir die duivel, want tot die tijd met die woord van die Heere na toe gekom, het God nie gesê nie, maar met die ander oortuiging, yes, hy wil haar um, sinne verblind, so dat sy kan val in sonde en ongerechtigheid, nou dis baie keer wat met ons wordt gebeur, ons moet bly by die waarheid van die woord, want dit wat vir ons gepredikt word van die begin af, ons moet daarby bly, en ons moet dit bly verstaan, en ons moet daar bly in wandel, ons kan nie achter vleiende woorde, en een ander evangelie aanloop, wat ons sinne gaan verblind, and now let us just read and we're going to conclude with the scripture in Isaiah you can actually read from verse 8 but let us just stay with the topic uh, verse 11 Isaiah 29 verse 11 now this is a prophetic word but it is also relevant because we read in the New Testament that all things in the Old Testament is written there so that we can be warned can we can be admonished that we can learn from that okay So let us read in Isaiah 29 verses 11. The whole vision has come to you like the words of a book that is sealed, which men deliver to one who is literate, literate, saying, 
read this please. And he says, I cannot, for so, it is sealed. Then the book is delivered to the one, one who is illiterate, saying, read this please. And he says, I am not literate. Therefore the Lord says, Inasmuch as these people draw near with their mouths, and honor me with their lips, but have removed their hearts from me, and their fear toward me is taught by the commandment of men. Therefore, behold, I will again do a marvelous work among this people, a marvelous work and a wonder, for the wisdom of the wise men shall perish, and the understanding of the prudent men shall be hidden. Woe to those who seek deep to hide their counsel far from the Lord, and their works are in the dark. They say, who sees us and who knows us? So um, when we look at this scripture, he says the word of God can be sealed up. The word of God can be a sealed book. You, not to understand why, because we honor God with our lips and not with our hearts. And we do things in the dark and we think the Lord doesn't see us. And this is what he's talking about. So in the dark is this dark cloud. We are so busy with this dark cloud. We don't even see the truth of the gospel, of the word of God. Cannot even penetrate the conviction. The spirit of God cannot even penetrate our hearts to bring us out of that dark cloud. Ja, in Isaiah 29 vers 11. So he dan die gezicht van al die dinge vir julle geword, soos die woorde van een verschilde boek, Wat hulle gee aan iemand wat kan lees. Met die woorde lees dit toch. Maar hy sê ek kan nie. Want dit is verschil. <laughs> of hulle gee die boek aan iemand wat nie kan lees nie. Met die woorde lees dit toch. Maar hy sê ek kan nie lees nie. En die Heere het gesê. Omdat hierdie volk nader kom. Met hulle mond. En my eer met hulle lippe. Terwijl hulle hart ver van my hou. So dat hulle vrees vir my aangeleerde mense ja. gebod ge is. Daarom sal ek voortgaan om wonderlik te handel met hierdie volk, wonderlik en wonderbaar, en die weisheid van hulle weise manne sal vergaan, en die verstand van hulle verstandige mense sal wegskuil. Wie hulle wat planne diep verberg vir die Heere, wie sy werk in duisternis plaas vind, en hulle sê, wie sien ons en wie ken ons. So baie keer kan die mens so wegval, jy kan so bezig raak met hierdie donkerte en duisternis, waarin jy denk, God sien jou nie, jy denk jy is bezig met jou eie ding, maar God sien dit, en wat gaan gebeur? Jy gaan nie die woord van die Heere verstaan nie, dit gaan vir jou een verschilde boek wees, jy gaan nie begryp wat die woord van die Heere vir jou sê nie, jy gaan nie die van Gerrie klik nie, daar gaan nie vir jou verlossing kom nie, en ons hoor hier die week, wow, mense begin ons dal en praat en sê, ek het geklik, ek het nog altyd gewonder, wat sê jy die mens met die van Gerrie klik, maar ek het hierdie week geklik, wow, en dan kom die harte los en vry, want wat gebeur? Mens raak so bezig met die donkerwolk om jou, met vleiende woorde, met allerhande dinge, en um, baie keer dan dra ons ook die evangelie uit met baie mooie woorde, maar daar is nie kracht nie, daar is nie verlossing nie, daar is nie vrymaak nie, daar is nie uh, 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 oortuiging in die boodskap nie, en dis wat die Heere ons wil leer, dat ons ons harte so met oopmaak, en ontvankelijk maak vir die woord, en bly by die gezonde leer, want anders gaan dit veroorzaak, dat jy self nie die woord van die Heere gaan verstaan nie. So, and over time, all this debris, all this rubbish, <laughs> collects and it blinds us our mind it blinds us our logical way of thinking in the gospel because we were saved by the preaching of the gospel the moment when you got born again you were a free person then eventually yeah. all these other things come and cloud at our minds through the preaching through things that we see through, through there's a lot of e even emotions fear things that we look in the outward is so many scripture that it also shows us that when we are busy with the outward gospel like the Pharisees etc that, that that is things that are busy clouding our minds because we want to hear that is a doctor that is a professor this is this guy has got a big church and that one has got that and this one is this luxury and that one is that and we listen and adhere to such gospel eventually we get so clouded and that's why we sometimes we stay in depression. We stay downhearted. It's as if we are, we are staying in darkness. Yeah. But we must come out and we must resort. We must really, really repent. Praise the and acknowledge and remove those things. If you are on WhatsApp groups, if you are on Facebook groups, this is the re relevant things nowadays. TikTok, 
What is it all? Telegram. There's so many, most, I can tell you all the groups that you belong to, that you hear every day and listen every day, are false. Yes. And it clouds your mind so that you cannot see the gospel of truth. Instead of standing up Amen. and start ministering the gospel so that more people can hear the gospel of spirit and truth. Wow, this can we see us with wees, as with wakker wees, as with waagsam wees, as with slaapheid wakker word, as with al hierdie dinge moet ons uitsorteer met die Heere, ons moet na hom toe gaan en sê, Heere, ek wil opstaan, want ek wil die evangelie in, in waarheid bedien. En ek wil my by die nederig is voeg. Hy sê ja, Voeg jou by die, die nederig is. Nou ons wil altyd die gesienis en al die dinge ophef en op, opmaak en alle rande dinge. Maar dis wat die woord van die Heere vir ons so mooi leer. Yes. Hy sê, voeg jou by die nederige, by die eenvoudige. Want die evangelie van die Heere Jesus Christus is eenvoudig. Dit gaan oor redding en verlossing en vrymaking. Dat jy kan hemel toe gaan. Dis die belofte wat hy vir ons kom gee. Die eeuwige lewe. Dis ons belofte. En al hierdie dinge moet ons met klaar kry. Anders gaan jy in die donker te bly. Die wolk gaan jou die hele tyd omring. Hy sê die, die Die, die wolk, die, die, die sonde wat jy so makkelijk omring. Ring, yes. Nou, dit is die sonde, ongerechtigheid, al die dinge, wat jy so omring, dat jy nie nuchter sien, en kyk en beleef in die evangelie nie. Ja, ek was sin en all fleshly and false things, they surround us, and they cloud our mind, so that we cannot see the truth of the gospel, the simplicity, and the, and the gospel is actually so simple. Amen. The power of the gospel yes. is actually so simple that people refuse to accept it. Ja, en dat mens baie keer nie is die kracht van die Heere kan erken wat gebeur nie. Jo, dit is krikwek. Amen, so, jo, praise the Lord. Dit is een geweldige bemoediging vir oog en dit aan. Yes, ah, amen. Dat die Heere sê, kom na my toe, en dan kan hierdie wolk, hierdie nevel, hierdie dinge wat so saam gepak het, kan wegwees. Wow. And this is what John 3.16 says, Jesus came to save the world, but ah. we must come to him. Oh, and how do you come to him? By telling him what you want? No, you must humble. Oh, humble Heere, yourself. Heere. Jesus Christ humbled himself at, at, until up to the point of a servant. Oh, and we must also go even beyond that and say, Lord, let I become a servant. Praise Heere. Dank Heere. Mag ons allemaal sikke mooi vruchte soos jylle dag. Prijs die Heere, ons loof die Heere, dat hy ons allemaal losmaak en vrymaak, yes. dat ons mekaar gaan ontmoet. Bid vir ons, ons klim dinsdag op die vliegtuig. <laughs> Thank you, so loof die Heere, dat die Heere net krachtig deurbruik en werk in allemaal sy harte en lewens en ook in ons sin. En ek kan vies, die Heere werk eerste in ons. Amen. Die boodskap het vir drie dagen ons gemaal en gemaal en gedeel en ons het gebid en gelei en gesond. And practical <laughs> things and practical yes. things as well. Yes, <laughs> die Heere vat ons baie keer door praktiese dinge, so dat ons die boodskap baie mooi kan verstaan, dat hy eerst baie mooi in jou hart kan praat en kan vestig so dat jy dit ook kan uitdeel en gaan er loof dier. Hey, may Dankie. you be blessed, have an awesome day en ons gaan lekker saam met die way daar na family care. Yes, en ons sal jy op hoogte hou van die dienste as ons daar gaan ding is, ons weet nie lekker hoe gaan ons dinge werk nie Dani en Marty kom ons daar by die lichaam haal en daar gaan ons vandaar af ons rit begin, so ons sal jy op hoogte hou loof dier en baie jy af op die groep sit. Bye bye, lief vir julle.